Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today, uh, we will be making a wreath for your house with only ornaments. So I have a bag filled with ornaments and I have a bunch of red ones. I have like a little bit of silver and then a little bit of green just to give it more color so the wreath is going to be basically red with hints of green and silver I also have silver ribbon for a bow uh, and this will just go with like the silver so not everything's red I also have a glue gun because usually ornaments do not stay attached to these little things so you have to glue them down and then I also have my clothes hanger which I already bent into a circle which is very easy to do you can you do it just with your hands so leave this part here bent and like curled don't straighten that out because you'll need to put it back together after we are done and so you can use pliers or just by hand and I just did this till I thought it was a good enough circle so yeah so let's get right into this video and start oh, I have my glue gun plugged in and I have my ornaments on the side so let's start so I'm going to show you how I do a couple and then I'll finish it off camera just so you don't have to watch me do the entire thing because this will take quite a long time. And I also have different sizes so I have big red ones, small red ones, medium sized red ones and then I have a uh, really big red ones if I can find them in this bag. All the ornaments are falling apart. So I have really big ones and then I have the next size down and then it keeps going. So let's start stringing the ornaments. So what I'm actually going to do is before they do start falling off on their own, I'm actually going to take them off of their little thing to hang them with, put a little glue on it, got to wait for that day to heat up. This thing should be hot now. Let's just put that one in there. And you don't have to add the glue, but this is just a little tip on getting your ornaments to stay on the things because these do tend to fall off a lot. So I'm just going to glue mine for precaution. And also, because I'm going to be doing tons of ornaments, the glue gun will get very hot. So if you are using a glue gun, be very careful because... I've burnt myself many times. And you think I would learn a lesson, but I haven't. Okay, so the good thing about glue guns is the glue does dry quickly, so that is a plus on this. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Okay, so I got them all glued down. Now what we can start to do is Hanging them. So I'm going to start with this end. So I'm going to put them on to this end and bring them all the way up to here. And then they're just going to keep looping around till it is full and you'll know when it's full. So let's start with our first one. Also, you don't have to add a bow. I may not in the end, depending on how I like it, 
but I will show you how I make my bows and what it looks like with a bow. So you don't actually have to move it. I don't know why I did that, but it will move on its own once you start adding lots. <laughs> Look, do the rest off camera and I will show you when I'm about to be finished. Okay, so I'm ready to move on to the ribbon and I also forgot to mention you'll need wire. So I'm just going to cut me a little piece of wire just to tie off the bow. And yes, I am using nail clippers because I cannot find scissors at the moment. So that's how much wire I have and I left about that much space at the top and that's what it looks like. So to tie it back together, I'm just going to take the two curled parts, put one in front of each other and it kind of just ties itself back together. So like that. And I left a little space at the top just to sit my bow in there, which I will show you how to make. So this is wired ribbon, and I got it from Michaels, but you can probably get it from anywhere. I know the dollar store has some ribbon if you just want to find some cheap ribbon. So depending on how big you want, your bow. I want mine kind of nice and big so I'm gonna do one arm length so I have it one to over here two and I'm gonna do that maybe one and okay so it looks like we're using all of it so the first step that you're going to want to do is fold it into the ribbon into half. So like this. Just fold it into half. Sorry if you can't see everything. I am doing my bow quite big. So just going to fold it in half so you can see your fold mark and then we're going to open it and the side you want out have on the outside so this side is the more sparkly side I don't know if you can see that and this side's more dull so the sparkly side I'm going to face out towards me and then have the f inside of the fold if this makes any sense facing towards me so that when it folds it folds like this Okay, anyways, take the first side, doesn't matter what side, and just fold it into half. And then do the same for the other side. Make it kind of even, as even as you can. And then, again, we're going to do it, but we're going to flip it upwards. like this so now we have something that looks like this and we're gonna just keep going so now I'm gonna take now that it's facing the top I'm gonna take it again fold it in fold it in and now that they're at the bottom I'm gonna fold them in fold them in and now I have these little hangers. So now we're just gonna pinch it all together. And you'll start to see the bow kind of come together. You can open it like this. So 
so now you can see the bow kind of come together. So I'm just going to tie this up with my piece of ribbon that I've now lost. You just take the ribbon, tie it in the center. Just like this, just put the ribbon in the center of your bow where you pinched it together and then just twist your wire and it will stay tightened and now you can play with it, get it to where you like it. There is your bow and then you just tie it to And so don't cut the ends of your wire because you can use it again. So just get it to where you like it. And there's looking good. And then again, just tie your bow on there. And there we have it. Our wreath made of ornaments looks pretty damn good to me. So, thank you for watching.